Thank you, Adrian and Dr. Henry. And again, reinforcing, register, get a booking, get a vaccination. Health orders are in place. Travel restrictions are in place until the end of the long weekend. Not the beginning, not Saturday, not Sunday, not Monday, but the end of the long weekend. I just wanted to also ask about, uh, just following up on what Richard asked there in terms of enforcement, will there be, uh, I'm just unclear if we can expect more enforcement um, this weekend. And also when it comes to the reopening plan, uh, that's going to be unveiled on Tuesday. I'm wondering what level of detail will people see? We see in other jurisdictions, they talk about level of vaccination and cases. It, what can people expect on Tuesday? Oh, well, they can expect on Tuesday that the circuit breaker will be over and a roadmap will be laid out for all British Columbians to see. This is great news for young people who, as Bonnie has said, want to get on with their lives. It's great news for entrepreneurs. It's great news for workers. It's great news for adults who want to get on with their lives. Uh, and, and this is uh, what we've been working towards for the past number of weeks. And there'll be an abundant amount of information on Tuesday. We look forward to talking to you about that then. With respect to enforcement of the uh, travel restrictions and the, uh, the other health orders that Dr. Henry has put in place, that will be as it has been uh, on other days and other weekends. But again, it's critically important that people remember that because the weather is good and the, and the, the trajectory on case counts is positive, we are not done yet. And I really encourage people to please, please, please follow the rules. Don't look for loopholes. Don't try and get around things. Enjoy a good weekend. And then, of course, next week we'll be plotting our, our way forward together. Ontario announced their restart program today for details for things that will happen in mid-June. I'm just wondering why you feel uh, British Columbians shouldn't be given that detail now. Are you concerned that they will not hear the details around the, the fact that they have to wait? Or I'm just trying to get a sense of what the motivation is for holding off until Tuesday. Well, the, the motivation is just as you suggested, Justine. It's human nature, and it's we've seen it in, in previous situations through the pandemic, that when people hear that there's good news on the horizon, they assume that that horizon is now. And we need to get through this long weekend. It was uh, uh, thoughtfully put in place. Uh, Dr. Henry and her team and the government uh, worked to make sure we put in place a program that was not overly onerous, but would meet the test of reducing transmission, keeping people safe, and keeping as much of our economy open as possible. That's been our course from the beginning. Uh, Dr. Henry's approach was not to shut things down, but to find ways that we could operate safely. And for the past 15 months, we've had outstanding results. Uh, Mr. Ford and other premiers across the country have had different circumstances. The virus has affected different provinces in different ways. Uh, we're confident that uh, the plan that we'll lay out on Tuesday will be a positive one for all British Columbians, whether they're people of faith who are yearning to get back to their temples, to their churches, to their gurdwaras, uh, people who want to get back onto the field and play a game, people who want to travel to their home or their summer homes in other parts of the province. All of that is just around the corner, but it has to be a slow and methodical approach. Uh, we're confident that come July, we're going to be in a much better place. But on Tuesday, we'll lay out that roadmap, and I think it'll be positively received by the vast majority of British Columbians, and I'm, I'm confident that they can wait a few more days.